brother and sister were in the parks tennis and, and uh, in swords. And if I wasn't introduced into the parks, my life would be very different because I probably wouldn't have played tennis. I was very shy. I'm not sure what I would have played. Maybe I would have played Gaelic. My dad wanted me to play a bit of Gaelic. Didn't really enjoy it that much. And tennis was, my eyes were open to tennis. And I, started, I went into the parks probably when I was seven. Yeah, I think uh, I think it was more the love of the game that that was brought out brought out of me. Uh, how much I actually love love the game. So I I was actually I was pretty good in the parks and the, you know and I loved the coaching and stuff. And the natural progression then was to you know continue playing tennis and doing coaching in the club after. Um, so yeah, I, I I could say that if it wasn't for the parks, I'm not sure where my tennis would have gone, That's and if I didn't even have played tennis. Uh, so. I was so from the parks. Then I went on to to, to play for Leinster in Ireland, and then uh, I had a good junior career in Ireland. And then I went to college in the states to LSU, Louisiana State. And then from there, I did well in college. I was ranked three in the country in doubles, and then the natural progression. I always wanted to play professionally, so um, it was a tough transition, but one I made. Career highlights, uh, I was lucky enough to play Davis Cup for Ireland for nine years, which was brilliant. That was one of my dreams. Um, I was lucky enough to win a couple of ATP challengers. Um, I won one in Istanbul, one in uh, Gumarais in Portugal, and I made a couple of finals as well. And I also uh, played a couple of ATP 250 events as well, which was brilliant. Um, and I played with, met some great people. I have a lot of highlights, a lot of good memories. To play an ATP 250, not many Irish guys have ever played an ATP 250. I missed, obviously, I missed Wimbledon by one spot a couple of years ago, where I was really close. So that's one I kind of missed. Um, but other than that, Davis Cup was a big dream of mine, and I was lucky enough to play that for a decade. So you know, if you look at where tennis has taken me, it's taken me to college in America with a scholarship to play for my country for ten years. Uh, nine years and then um, just to meet some incredible people it's given me great opportunities in life so and that all that all started with the parks tennis so if it wasn't for the parks I'm not sure I'd be sitting here right now yeah so I was approached last year um, to help out a little bit so I, I, I attend uh, the events that are on uh, I guess I'm brand ambassador so I've done some stuff with Maxall um, which is really great, great for the parks to have a big name sponsor. Um, so yeah, I'm still involved and I'm looking forward to going. Last year I gave out the prizes to the kids as well and I hope to do that this year. I'm, I'm very appreciative of what tennis has given me, so I'm, uh, I'm really happy to give back. And I want to try and find the next Roger Federer and hopefully the next Roger Federer or Serena Williams or whoever is in the, in the parks tennis. So I retired professionally at the end of last year, so I'm now working uh, outside of tennis, but I, I still play once a week, I would say. Uh, we, I play for Malahide in, in the league, and we won the summer league on Saturday, so, and I was the captain. So. Yeah, I, I think I'd recommend, 100% I'd recommend it. I think it's great to have fun and play tennis, and I think it's a great introduction to tennis, and, and it's a great way. It's a, As people say, it's a sport for life, and you can still play it when you're seven years old and so it's a, it's a brilliant way to get active and play sports.